So what is the difference between physical exfoliation and chemical exfoliation? Let's get into it. Hi guys, my name is Letuko and I'm a skincare enthusiast. On my channel, I research skincare ingredients, I research the different skincare techniques, I try out different products so that you don't have to waste your money. So before we can, um, so before we get into the differences between chemical exfoliation and physical exfoliation, let's first understand what, what exfoliation is and why we need to exfoliate. So the upper layer of your skin, which is called the epidermis, goes through a turnover cycle every 30 days or so, where it sheds the dead skin cells to reveal new skin that comes from the middle layer of your skin. So what happens is that um, the dead skin cells are supposed to fall off but that does not always happen and that's why we need to exfoliate so exfoliation is basically removing the dead skin cells from your skin by either using a tool or a chemical so let's start with physical exfoliation physical exfoliation is not a new concept for most of us i mean most of us have been um scrubbing most of our lives right um if you are south african and you're black you probably know what this is where i'm from it's called a hwash hwash um our parents would use this on us when we were growing up because even though we bathed every day it felt like there was constantly like a layer of dirt accumulating on your skin that needed to be scrubbed off and this is what we used and that's basically what physical exfoliation is it's using a tool to scrub off the dirt or to scrub off the dead skin cells that accumulate on the outer layer of your skin now as we grew up or when we went to our into our teenage years we got introduced to skincare and that's where the facial scrub came in so the basis of a facial scrub is microgranules right there's basically microgranules that you use to physically scrub off the dead skin cells or physically scrub off the dirt from your face to reveal a more softer skin or to review to reveal a new layer of skin and that's basically what physical exfoliation is so Basically, what chemical exfoliation is, is using chemicals to scrub off that layer of dead skin on your face. So chemical exfoliators tend to use acids, which are called beta hydroxy acids or alpha hydroxy acids. So an example of an alpha hydroxy acid would be glycolic acid, which works on the surface of your skin. So it polishes off the dead skin, dead skin cells from your skin. Whereas with beta hydroxy acids, an example of which is a salicylic acid, not only does it exfoliate the outer layer of your skin but it also goes in to clean out the dirt that that accumulates in the pores whether it's the oils or or the the germs it cleans the the inner part of your skin or rather it goes into your pores to clean out the dirt that would usually cause blemishes or breakouts so before you can decide which exfoliating method you want to use whether you want to use a scrub or you want to use a chemical exfoliator it's important for you to know that it's important for you to know what skin type you have so there are different types there are different skin types rather or there are five which is dry skin some people have dry skin and dry skin tends to have like dry patches and needs more moisture some people have oily skin which tends to be the more acne prone skin and then some people have sensitive skin some people have normal skin and some people have combination skin now combination skin is a combination of oily skin as well as dry skin so you'll find that on the forehead or rather on the t-zone area it tends to be more oily and the cheeks are dry the cheeks and the jawline will then be more dry so before you can choose which method of exfoliation you want to use it's important for you to understand the type of skin that you have because different skin types did react differently to physical exfoliation because it might aggravate your skin or chemicals which might cause irritation and redness as well so for the longest time i also used a physical scrub but i wasn't happy with it because i constantly felt like i needed to exfoliate my face so i was exfoliating my face four to five times a week because i felt like there was so much texture on my nose and i also found that i had a lot of white heads in my chin so i wasn't happy with any of the 
scrubs that I was using. I don't know if my skin was getting used to the scrub, but it wasn't it wasn't cleaning it out and it wasn't revealing um new skin the way that i wanted it to right so around last year november i discovered this enzymatic cleansing powder from willies it's a um, chemical exfoliator that has enzymes that are extracted from the fruit papaya it also has salicylic acid which i mentioned earlier is a bha it's a beta hydroxy acid so it 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 goes into your skin to clean out your pores to clean out the oil that gathers on your skin and to clean out also all the dirt that can cause blemishes and it also has rice powder extract which is an ingredient that is very popular in like eastern or rather Asian skin care. It conditions the skin and it also softens the skin. So the ingredients that are in this um, exfoliator or rather in this cleanser are very mild and they work very well, guys. Like ever since I started using this thing, I don't break out as much. I only break out around the time that I'm on my period. But the rest of the time, my skin feels clean. My skin feels soft and it's brighter. So I want to recommend this um, product to you guys um, if you want to try out chemical exfoliation if you've never used chemicals to exfoliate your skin I would recommend this um, I just want to say I, I have oily skin so I didn't have a bad reaction to this I didn't find it to dry out my skin so if you have dry and sensitive skin I don't want to say don't use it but I'd say maybe buy it try it out and if you Find that your skin reacts badly to it then you can leave it but overall it's a wonderful product i would compare it to the one that dermalogica has which is extremely expensive but it pretty much has the same ingredients it's it's got rice powder extract it's got salicylic acid it's got papain which is a fruit enzyme that's taken from um the fruit papaya so it pretty much cleanses your skin it cleanses your pores and it cleanses your skin it cleanses your pores and leaves your skin feeling rejuvenated it leaves your skin feeling softer and it leaves your your complexion looking brighter so thank you guys so much for watching this video if you have any com if you have any questions please comment below and if you like the video please like and share with other people and if you want to see more of these videos in the future please press the subscribe button down below thank you